heavy water or D2O, deuterium oxide. So deuterium oxide is heavy water and it is discovered by Urey in 1932. Urey in 1932. Now preparations. It is prepared by the exhaustive electrolysis of water. Exhaustive electrolysis of water. That is, ordinary water contains very small proportion of uh, D2O, that is, deuterium oxide. So, when prolonged electrolysis of water is done, H2 is liberated much faster than D2 and the remaining water contains uh, is enriched with D2O or heavy water. Okay, so what we have to do on prolonged electrolysis, prolonged electrolysis, we can obtain D2O that is uh, H2 gas is easily liberated than D2O and the remaining water is enriched with D2O. Okay, next it is also obtained as a byproduct in some fertilizer industries. Okay, byproduct in some fertilizer industries. Okay, like this we can prepare heavy water. Okay, uses. First use, it is used as a moderator in nuclear reactors. That is to slow down the fast moving neutrons and controls the nuclear fission reaction. Okay. Used to slow down the fast moving neutrons fast moving neutrons and this controls the nuclear fission process. Next, it is used as a tracer compounds, used as tracer compounds in studying reaction mechanism in studying reaction mechanism next it is used for preparing deuterium products preparing deuterium products Okay, that is D2O is used as a starting material for different reactions. That is CaC2 calcium carbide on reaction with deuterium oxide gives C2D2 plus CaOD twice. Okay, so like this we can prepare deuterium products. Another reaction SO3 plus D2O gives D2SO4 ok next aluminium carbide Al4C3 aluminium carbide on reaction with D2O 12D2 gets converted into CD4 plus 4 ALOD drives Okay, these are the different deuterium products obtained. Okay, so these are the different uses of heavy water.